Hello all my fellow scratchers and fellow YouTubers. This is Snowball Ellen and today we're going to be making an interactive PowerPoint sort of thing on Scratch. So simple but looks very good. So to start off you normally have a cat. I deleted it. So do you know how to delete it? If you don't know how to delete it, press the scissors and you press the cat, which would have been there. So, to start off, we need a background. Of course, you can go into paint a new backdrop, but I'm just going to go and choose a backdrop from library. So, if you, you can choose any backdrop you want, but it looks simple if you go into other and there's all these backdrops like nice little backdrops so i wouldn't use the xy grid the rays neon tunnel or moon they're not very you know, they're nice you could use them but not that nice i'm going to go off and choose stripes press ok and there we go we have stripes if we go into backdrop and we delete it and you just also remember you can change the color any color you want oops I meant to choose this color so now we've done that I'm going to go again you can print your own sprite but I'm going to choose sprite from library much quicker so I'm going to go choose animals so we press animals we have every single animal type here but also if you want like a realistic animal like a dog puppy whatever you're going to go and press bitmap but they're the only ones they're realistic animals if you want a realistic animal i'll show you how to do that in a sec but i'm going to vector these are cartoon animals they don't have my favourite animal here, so I'm just going to go off and press penguin. Now we have our animal. I'm going to scripts, events, when this sprite clicked, and we're going to looks, say, and I'm going to make him say, hello, I am a... Penguin. I am Snowball Ellen's favorite. Oops. Animal. So you can do right whatever you want with your animal, but. This is what I'm going to put. There we go. So if you want to add sounds, so when he talks, you know, he makes a sound. So you go into it. You go, go and press sounds. Sorry. You don't have to have pop. You can delete that if you want. Go to sound from library. Of course, record new sound or upload sounds from file is possible. But... I'm going to go with animal and because they don't do any you know like penguin sounds I am just going to choose owl because sounds a bit like sound a penguin would make even though I don't know what sound a penguin would make so then we're going to go back into scripts sound play owl sound and drag it you can make it say after so it looks like this or he makes the sound first, then says it, so it's like this. I much prefer doing it first, but it's your choice. So, now what we're going to do is pick our favourite food. But, because they don't have my favourite food, and I'm not very good at drawing, I'm going to show you how to get it, it up. So, make a new tab. It's already up. You're going to search 
my favorite food. Well, ish is sushi. If you want, you can just put PNG. But if you want a cartoon, you just put cartoon. But you have to remember to put PNG. Well, this is much easier. There you have better quality ones. So I'm going to have this kawaii sushi. Right click. Save image as. You can save it into anything you want. I want to just name this sushi. But I find it much easier to save it onto your desktop so you can delete it in a bin. Well, if you're on the Mac. But yeah. So you save that. It comes up down here. Don't worry, it hasn't downloaded anything. You're just going to go onto Untitle your scratch tab. This here, upload sprite from file. Desktop, whatever the name of your picture was, it should probably be first anyway. You click on it and you go press open, and here it is. So it's probably too big, and you have the white bit. So you get this, you double click to make sure most of the white bit is gone. If there's anything else you don't want, it's you can just, you know, do the same or just do what I did. And if it's much too big like this one, you make another box by using this. Drag it around. And use this corner here to shrink. And sometimes it might go back to its original size, but you don't really want it to do that. So you can just shrink it again. To make life much easier for you, you can go into Penguin, Scripts, right click, de duplicate. But it has to be on the bit, the top one. Click into Sushi. And you're going to go into Sounds. Because I'm going to change the sound of what my sushi sounds like. Animals or effects. Or you press chomp, so it sounds like this, if it's your favourite food. Then, you're going to change the L to chomp. Or, you know, you get the idea. I'm going to change penguin. She without the capital S. I can't spell today. And change animal to food. Now, what you can do, you can put favourite sport or hobby. And I'm going to press basketball. Okay. Move it here. Do the sounds to boing. boing, and the rest of it. You know, you you know how to do it. You just go into sushi, script, right click, duplicate, into basketball or whatever yours is. Change the sound, and you get the rest. And now. We're ready for the next slide. So now, backdrops, right click, duplicate. You know you can have another background if you want. But I might stick, I'm going to stick to the same one. But just change the colour. So, we've changed the colours. But you want the next slide. But you don't want any of these on them. So, what we do. Scripts, events, oof, and backdrops to, to, to stripes too. If it's on stripes or whatever, click it. Just check the name of the stage, and you're going to go and press looks and hide, and you know the rest. So I've done that. Some reason he's already decided to disappear.
you want them now to disappear, you just press the green. That's why. I also didn't show you when you press space. Looks. Next backdrop. There we go. Now, I'm going to make my own sprites with some of my favourite words. Well, just words. And I will see you in a minute. Okay, now I'm back. I'm going to show you how to record your own voice. So, where it says sounds, you press the record button. And now, if you press the record circle, if you press deny, or Denny, whatever you call it, whatever you want to call it, I mean, um, it means you cannot record your own voice. Press allow, the tick, it means you can. So, now I've done that, it might start recording. So if you don't want to start recording straight away, you press the circle and the backspace button. Then, when you're ready to record, you press the circle. So now because the word is cool, I'm just going to say cool. And then cool. And if there's any bits you want to delete, you highlight it and delete it. Cool. And name it cool. Scripts. Events. And the script clicks. Looks. Sounds. Play sound. Cool. Cool. And you can do it to the rest. So. Awesome. Awesome. Whoa. Whoa. Right, now I've recorded them all. I know how to duplicate stuff, so cool. there's no point showing you all them again. So even though it says cool, you have to change it to recording one, or if you've named it, your recording. So cool! Wow! Awesome! And if you want to make it talk and say cool and say the meaning of it, you can know how to do that. I've shown you. So now you know how to make your own backgrounds, make stuff talk, and add sounds. You can go ahead and do it yourself. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, sub subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!